Okay, let's check. Let's begin. Hello, everybody. Welcome. It's nice to have you one more time. We have another class here. I'm soon. Welcome, y'all, to this English class. It's nice to have you, and I hope all of you are okay at home. Thank you so much for being here. We're going to start with section number five. That's the one we're going to start uh, today. As you may know, uh, this is our last week of these uh, classes. So that means we're going to have four classes uh, this week. Yes. And don't forget that you need to do the exercises that are on the platform and have them ready as soon as possible. Yes. Because uh, this is going to be our last week of, of this module. Yes. And uh, my suggestion is finish those before the before the class ends. Okay, before the class ends. Okay, we're gonna have um section number five. So I told you before, how you ever written a comment? Uh, that's that's the topic. That's it. Well, that's the title of this section number five. We're gonna start with present perfect, already and yet. Pre intermediate module two, class number thirteen. That's the one we're gonna have today. So thank you so much, all of you, for being here. It's my pleasure. And let's see. Let's practice a little bit. It's raining in some places, as you may see, right? or as you, as you may know. Uh, well, here in San Salvador, it's raining a little bit. And, um, well, I hope it doesn't get worse. Okay, thank you. We're going to start this one. Fun for everyone around Orlando. Okay, here we have some pictures, please. Do me a favor, Jorge. Good. Good evening. It's nice to have you. Okay, Ronald and also Santos. Thank you so much. Hello, Jorge. Welcome. Hello, teacher. Nice to have you. Do me a favor, please. Uh, describe the pictures. Thank you. Describe uh... oh, the pictures. The pictures. Okay. Mm -hmm. Well, the first picture is uh, maybe, maybe a theater. Oh. Maybe it is uh, a theater. Um, but Tem Park, Tem Park. Okay, the second imagine is is a party, and dancing everyone. That is correct. What about here? Number three. This is um, a space center, space center. That is correct. The, another imagine is a, is a food. Yeah, that's food. What kind of food is that? Cuban food. Oh, Cuban. Very good. And the last image is is a uh, alligator. Exactly. Thank you so much, Jorge. Very good. Thank you, Claudia. Hello. Good evening. It's nice to have you. Do me a favor. Uh, tell me. Um, what are these pictures about, Claudia? What are these pictures about? Um, according to the title, it, it all of 
that places are in Orlando. But I don't know exactly what I have to describe, sorry. Uh, no, I mean, like, what are these things about? Like, I, you told us, right, that these things are located in Orlando, but, I mean, why do you think we have these pictures here? Um, I, I don't know. Okay, no problem. Thank you so much. Okay. Okay. Uh, uh, Janessi Alexandra Lopez. Hello. Good evening. Hello. Good evening. Thank you. Can you tell me what are these pictures about? Um, I think it's about tourists. Um, Orlando. Okay, Tur tourist places, maybe? Mm -hmm. Okay, yes, right. So that means that when you visit Orlando, you have yeah. these options, right? Yes. Yes. So you can plan your trip yeah. and you can say, oh, mm -hmm. I would like to visit or to go to a theme park. Okay, as you may know, this is a yeah. theme park where you have like a monument or like a statue of something. And usually people go there just to take pictures, right? Then we have this one. Um, Jorge was talking about a party, right? Yeah, as you may know, like over there, there are some uh, clubs that people can go there and will just enjoy music from this singer that is Mr. 305. Do you know the singer Mr. 305, Freddy? By any chance, do you know who's the Hello? singer Mr. 305? Do you know that one? The second picture. No, I mean the singer, Mr. 305. It's not that pitbull. Oh, yes, that is correct. <laughs> Very good. Yes, right. That, that's, that's the one. Yeah, Mr. 305. I mean, he sings usually, I don't know, um, dancing music, right? So you can go to a, a club and you can hear his music. And, and, and people dance his music, right? Very good. Also, you have the chance to visit a space center, right? In, in some like uh, places like states, um, it is big. And so there are like important, like say, I mean, places to visit and a space center is one of those. Also the food, as you may know, here we have Cuban food that is located in Orlando. And also the nature, we have some animals over there that you can be careful about. And you will see those because those are like protected animals. Yes, like here in El Salvador, protegemos los garrobos, right? So garrobos are protected animals. Sometimes people, we eat, they eat them, right? Or some people sell them. But the law says que no se, se prohíbe cazar animales, right? No sé si prohíbe comérselos también o solo cazarlos y venderlos. I don't know. Okay, you tell me. You tell me. But as far as I know, uh, garrobos, right? Or iguanas are protected animals here in El Salvador. In the U.S., well, in Orlando, alligators are protected animals as well. Okay. Uh, and these are activities that you can do when you visit a place. Yeah. Well, like, for example, when somebody visits El Salvador, right? You can tell him or you can tell her a bunch of places or a bunch of activities that this person can do. Yeah. Here in El Salvador. Uh, question for you, Marcos. Hello. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. And tell me, which activities have you done? Do you understand the question? Which activities have you done? In the summer? No, in like uh, here from this... Um, well, well, here in El Salvador, pretty much that's true. Yeah. Yeah, here in El Salvador, which activities have you done? In, uh, visit uh, uh, museums. Oh, okay. Uh, go, uh, go to uh, parks. Uh, okay, very good. What else? Um, visit to 
Oh, su. Oh, we just have one zoo here in the table. I think the other one is Fureza, right? Fureza. Uh, oh. uh, I think so. Yeah. So the zoo is closed. I guess, like, I don't know. The Remy of the zoo that was in San Jacinto is closed nowadays. Uh -huh, I think you. Yeah, so... but Fureza, I don't know if that's that's still open. Yeah, you, you tell me. Oh. Thank you so much. Very good. Thanks. What about you, Sandra Noemi? Uh, which activities have you done? Mm -hmm. Daniela. Sorry, oh, teacher. Which activities have you done? Um, or in my case, I um, go dancing. Oh, okay. Um, I don't. Visitors paid centers. Oh, yes, we don't have those here in El Salvador. No. Yeah. The only the one that we have is a big antenna, right? In yes. The roof. Yes. Ahora ya no la ponen. Antes yes, right? A big antenna just to get Canal 6 or something like that. But nowadays, everybody use Netflix. I don't know. Thank you so much. Very good. Okay, vamos a ver un tema that is beautiful this week, which is about the present perfect. I love the present perfect because it's one of the difficult ones in English. Okay. Um, we don't use it a lot. <laughs> that's, that's the pity. Okay. Uh, but we have to learn it. Okay. So uh, I'm sorry for you. Um, we're going to have this conversation. My feet are killing me. Yes. After a heavy traffic jam, you can say this one, right? My feet are killing me. Uh, Juan Jose. Hello, Juan Jose. Good. Good evening. Tell me. Describe the picture, Juan Jose, please. Thank you. Look at the picture and describe it. I go into my house now, teacher. Oh, sorry. Oh, that's okay. Thank you so much for letting me know. Sorry, sorry. That's okay. I understand. Uh, Edith Carolina Rivera. Hello, Edith. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. Thank you. Do me a favor. Look at the picture and describe it, please. Tell me what do you see? Where are they? What are they doing? Are they students? Um, they are. They are. I traveling around the world. Um, they are they are talking. Who is driving? She. Excuse me. Um, who is she's driving? Erin. Oh, who is Erin? She is the women uh, wearing the blouse, wearing green the blouse. Blue. Oh, okay. So, so the girl wearing uh, green um, blouse is driving. She's traveling. Oh, oh, she's, driving. oh she's driving. Okay. Okay, <laughs> thank you. Um. Uh, and what 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 is where are they? They are. <laughs> okay, how do you say esposos in English? Uh, uh huh. Husband. Husband is wife or spouses. Okay, husband and wife or spouses. Very good. And what is the city? What's this city? Uh, the city is Orlando. Oh, probably right. Do you understand, Edith, the, the title? My feet are killing me. Do you understand this? Oh, um, probably the he. Well, I'm cansados. 
los pies ya no los aguanta. Exactly, right? Sometimes when we when we work a lot, right, Edith, we, we feel like this at the end of the day, right? We feel like, oh, my feet are killing me. I need to rest a lot. Yeah. Thank you so much. Great job. Okay, so we're going to have this conversation between Erin and Carlos. Let's listen and then we'll practice. Unit 10. Have you ever been there? Page 64. Exercise 2. Conversation. My feet are killing me. Part A. Listen and practice. It's great to see you again, Carlos. Have you been in Orlando long? You too, Erin. I've been here for about a week. I can't wait to show you the city. Have you been to the theme parks yet? Yeah, I've already been to three. The lines were so long. Okay, well, how about shopping? I know a great store. Well, I've already been to so many stores. I can't buy any more clothes. I know what. I bet you haven't visited the Kennedy Space Center. It's an hour away. Actually... I've already been to the Space Center and met an astronaut. Wow, you've done a lot. Well, is there anything you want to do? You know, I really just want to take it easy today. My feet are killing me. Unit 10. Have you ever been there? Page 64. Exercise 2. Conversation. My feet are killing me. Part A. Listen and practice. It's great to see you again, Carlos. Have you been in Orlando long? You too, Erin. I've been here for about a week. I can't wait to show you the city. Have you been to the theme parks yet? Yeah, I've already been to three. The lines were so long. Okay, well, how about shopping? I know a great store. Well, I've already been to so many stores. I can't buy any more clothes. I know what. I bet you haven't visited the Kennedy Space Center. It's an hour away. Actually, I've already been to the Space Center and met an astronaut. Wow. You've done a lot. Well, is there anything you want to do? You know, I really just want to take it easy today. My feet are killing me. Okay, thank you so much. We have this conversation between Erin and Carlos with the title, My Feet Are Killing Me. Jacqueline, Vanessa, tell me, what is this conversation about? It's about two person that is talking uh, the activities that if if they have ever do something like that thank you so we have two people right talking about something they did very good right something they did in the past so they are like sharing what are they sharing Mm -hmm. Daniela Mercedes. Hi, teacher. Can you repeat me in the question, please? Sure. What What are they sharing? Um, about activities that Erin Erin did. Okay. Sorry, Carlos did. Carlos did or have done have done. Very good. Thank you so much. So here we are talking about an experience, right? Yes, something that, that we experience. And if you notice, for experiences, activities, we're going to use not the simple past. As you may know, we are going to talk about something that is called present perfect. Okay. When it comes talking about experiences, 
in the past, things that we did in the past, but those are related to experiences, we're going to use the present perfect. We're going to practice this conversation in the breakout rooms. So save it, please. Um, take a screenshot of this conversation. Claudia, go ahead. Teacher, I don't understand when Carlos says, I've already been to three. Exactly. So that means it's an experience like he did in the past. Okay. It, but times. He has been there three times. Exactly. So she already been there. I mean, it's an experience that he's telling like, oh, I've been there already. I know oh. how this thing is. So, and for that one, Claudia, that's the challenge because usually we use the simple past to talk about past events, right? So everything that is in the past, we go with past. I did, I went, I got. But in here is experience. Actually, like the thing was in the past, but I'm not using the past tense to communicate about it. Because it's an experience, I need to use this thing that is called the present perfect. It, that's why it's, co it's confused. Okay. Thank you, teacher. My pleasure. My pleasure. Okay, so please, if you can send the picture on WhatsApp group so that the rest of your classmates can have it, that will be nice. Yes. Uh, that will be very... Oh, thank you. You did it already. Thank you so much, Edith. Okay. I will open the breakout rooms. So the picture is on WhatsApp, so you can check that. I will open the breakout rooms um, so you can practice with your partners this conversation. Uh, some of you are have problems with microphones, so don't worry. Just stay here in the main room. Uh, we're going to have... Okay. Um. In the main room, Elisa Maria Garcia de Ruiz, Jose Alcides Leiva Ibarra, Juan Jose Garcia Mendez, and Jenny Marisol Hernandez de Guevara. You four, you four stay here in the main room. Elisa Maria Garcia de Ruiz, Jose Alcides um, Leiva Ibarra, and Juan Jose Garcia Mendez, and Jenny Marisol Hernandez de Guevara. The rest of you, do me a favor, please. Join the breakout room so you can practice with your partners this conversation. Practice as much as possible, as many times you have the chance to do it. Okay, so please, thank you. Daniela, please join. Thank you. Janie, Jocelyn, please, thank you, join. Oh, okay, okay. Uh, Jenny Elizabeth Tolosa, Edwin, uh, Maria Vilma, please join. Okay, for the people that stay here in the main room, um, this is your time so you can practice the conversation. Yes, there you have it. Take terms and also switch roles, okay? Okay, Jenny, do you want to start? Hi, teacher. Oh, do you want to start, Jenny? Oh. Uh, mm -hmm. No, estoy aquí. Oh, oh, yes, you're here. You're here. Sí, quiere participar usted with uh, Maria Vilma Cortez? Yes? Yes, teacher. Okay. Oh, okay, creo que she, she left. Uh, Edwin? Hello, Edwin. Puede participar, Edwin? Yes or no? Okay. What about you, Juan Jose? Can you participate? Oh, not yet, right? Because you're you're traveling. Okay. I'm sorry. My mistake. Yes. Yeah, sorry. Sorry, teacher. Oh, you ready? Or you're you're still traveling? No, 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 no. Oh, okay. Thank you so much. No problem. Is Santos? Hello, Santos. Santos, hello. No. Oh, Jesus, give me a minute. Yes, I can, teacher. Okay. Okay. A mi casa. A mi casa. Oh, perfect. Thank you. With Maria Vilma, please. Voy a dejar de compartir porque me pidieron apoyo. I'm sorry. La picture está en el chat. Okay. okay. So you can check that. Eh, Abrir los breaker rooms porque alguien me pidió apoyo por ahí. Es que me a minute.
Yeah, I've really been to three. The lines were so long. Okay, well, how about shopping? I know a great store. Well, I... <laughs> okay, well, how, how about shopping? I not agree. I really been to the light world so long. Okay, well, how about shopping? I know a great store. Well, I already been to so many stores. I can't buy any more clothes. I Okay, uh, bueno. Well, I already been to so many stores. I can't buy any more clothes. I know what I bet you haven't visited the Kennedy Space Center. It's an hour away. Actually, I already been to the Space Center and meet an astronaut. Wow, you've done a lot, Will. Is there anything you're going to do? You know, I right just went to take it to take it easy today. My feet are killing me. Thank you so much. Very good. We have we have a few mistakes on, on pronunciation. Okay. Um somebody else here wants to participate. Jenny Marisol, can you participate? Yes, yes. teacher. Oh, thank you. What about you, Cindy? Can you participate? No, uh, Briseida. Um, Elisa Maria de Guadalupe, can you participate? I can. Oh, Alcides? Mm -hmm. Yes, okay. Yes, I can. Wonderful, thank you. So, um, where is the other one? Maria Vilma? Um, Jenny, Jenny and Jose Alcides, okay? So okay. Uh, let's begin and then you switch roles, okay? Okay. Okay, I'm Erin. It's okay. great to see you again. Carlos, have you been in Orlando long? You too, Erin. Even being here for a good, um, with I can't wait to show. I can't wait to show you the city. Have you been to the ten park yet? Yeah, I already been to three. The line with so long. Okay, well, how about shopping? I know a great store. Well, I've already been to many stores. I can't buy any more clothes. I know what I bet yet haven't visited the Kennedy Space Center. It's an hour away. Actually, I like already been to a space center and met an astronaut. Astronaut. <laughs> wow, you done a lot. Well, is there anything you want to do? Joe, Joe, not you know. really. Just want to take an AC today. My feet are killing me. Okay, choice. Now I'm Carlos. Okay. 
Did you start? It's great to see you again. Carlos, had you been in Orlando long? You too, Erin. I've been here for about a week. I came a week to show you the city. Had you been to the town park yet? Yeah, you have already been to tour the lights were so long. Okay, well, what about shopping and not a great store? Well, I already been to so many stores. I can buy any more clothes. I know what bet you uh when visited the Kennedy Spike Center, it's um all away. Actually I already been to the space center and meet an astronaut. Wow, Joe done a lot well is there anything anything do i want to do you know i really just want i really just want to take it easy today my feet are killing me thank you so much very right. good great job we have a few mistakes as you may know with pronunciation but again, we practice, we overcome those. Okay, so keep, keep practicing, people. Very good, thank you. Oh, I have a question for, let me see, Freddy. Freddy, why this person, Carlos, says at the end, my feet are killing me, why? Oh, okay, you don't see that. Okay. Let, me, let, me, let me stop it, let me stop it, okay? <laughs> let me see that fix a little bit, okay? What about what about now? Wait, wait a minute, wait a minute, because it's loaded. Okay. No teacher. <laughs> yeah, here this person Carlos says, My feet are killing me. Why he says that? Uh, uh, the expression is uh, uh, my 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 feet are uh, bueno, killing me están, mis pies me están matando. <laughs> yes, but why? Why he says this expression? Uh, uh, because uh, me, me, he he was uh, uh, walking and shopping, maybe or or uh, he was in uh, Kennedy Space Center. Mm -hmm. Sorry, I was muted. Jacqueline? Maybe it's because he's tired. Exactly. That's true, right? When you do a lot of stuff during the day, at the end you get exhausted. Also, when you travel, right? As you may know, when you travel... um. To another country usually you do a lot of stuff over there during the day so at the end you get tired of it thank you so much i will take the attendance really quick please when you hear your name say presenter i'm here and then we're gonna get a little bit into the practice um ana cristina peña de paz present teacher good evening nice to have you blanca is guzman cruz i'm here good evening nice to have you briseida janet garcia de crispin Thank you, Briseida, right in the chat. Thank you so much. Cindy Stephanie Ramirez Rodriguez. Also, Cindy is here, right in the chat, Cindy. Thank you so much. Claudia Yesenia Flores de Galdames. I'm here. Nice to have you. Good evening. And Daniela Mercedes Olivares Racinos. 
I'm here, teacher. Thank you so much, Evers Ernesto Perdomo Álvarez. Present. Nice to teacher. have you. Welcome, Edith Carolina Rivera de Segundo. I'm here, teacher. Thank you so much, Edwin Benjamin Sánchez Portillo. I think Edwin is here, but he's busy, right? I think I saw him like he was quite busy. Just let me double check his name. Yeah, Edwin is here, but he's busy. Thank you, Edwin. Uh, Elisa Maria Garcia de Ruiz. Present. Thank you. Uh, Freddy Alberto Pascarillo. Present, teacher. Nice to have you. Ileana Mariel Arevalo Menjibar. Present, teacher. Nice to have you one more time. Welcome. Janessi Alexandra Lopez Portillo. Present. Good evening. Uh, Jacqueline Vanessa Rodriguez Sanchez. Present. Welcome. Janie Lisette Escobar Lucero. Present. Thank you so much. Jorge Mauricio Gutierrez Alfaro. Present. Thank you so much for being here. Jose Alcides Leiva Ibarra. Present. Thank you so much and welcome. Uh, Jocelyn Thanks. Tatiana Moreno Mercado. Present teacher. Thank you. Juan Jose Garcia Mendez. Present teacher. Nice to have you, gentlemen. Liliana del Tránsito Aguilar Juárez. Present teacher. Thank you so much. Marcos Alberto Palacios Herrera. Hello, good evening. Thank you so much and welcome. Maria Vilma Cortez Rivas. Present teacher. Nice to have you. Milena de Los Angeles Aragón Pleites. Milena, are you here? I think I saw Milena. Yes, let me check the chat really quick. Okay, uh, Milena. Yes, she's here, but she's probably busy. Thank you so much for being here. Don't forget to write in the chat. Ronald Ra Rafael Cruz Amaya. Present teacher. Thank you so much and welcome. Sandra Noemi Pimentel Alvarez. Present teacher. Thank you so much. Santos Guadalupe Ruiz Ventura. Present. Good evening. Um, the, I'm sorry. Tiffany Guadalupe Martinez Mendez. Present. Nice to have you. Jenny Elizabeth Tolosa Cortez. And Present teacher. Thank you so much. Uh, Jenny Elizabeth and Jenny Marisol Hernandez de Guevara. Present teacher. Good thank evening. you so much for being here. Good evening. We're going to have really quick the audio of this conversation and then a, a few of you will participate okay um let's listen unit 10 have you ever been there page 64 exercise 2 conversation my feet are killing me part a listen and practice it's great to see you again carlos have you been in orlando long you too, Erin. I've been here for about a week. I can't wait to show you the city. Have you been to the theme parks yet? Yeah, I've already been to three. The lines were so long. Okay, well, how about shopping? I know a great store. Well, I've already been to so many stores. I can't buy any more clothes. I know what. I bet you haven't visited the Kennedy Space Center. It's an hour away. Actually, I've already been to the Space Center and met an astronaut. Wow, you've done a lot. Well, is there anything you want to do? You know, I really just want to take it easy today. My feet are killing me. Okay, thank you, uh, Jacqueline Vanessa. And Evers, Evers, you are Carlos, and Jacqueline, you are Edin. Ready? Let's begin. It's great to see you again, Carlos. Have you been in Orlando long? You too, Erin. I've been here for about a week. I can't wait to show you the city. Have you been to the theme park yet? Yeah, I've already been to there, been to three. The lines were so long. Okay, well, how about shopping? 
I know a great store. Well, I've already been to so many stores. I can't buy any more clothes. I know what. I bet you have haven't visited the Kennedy Space Center. It's an hour away. Actually, I've already been to the Space Center and met an astronaut. Wow. You've done a lot. Well, is there anything you want to do? You know, I really just want to take it easy today. My feet are killing me. Very good. Great job, the two of you. Wonderful. Thank you so much. Blanca y Solina Guzmán Cruz. Sí. Blanca, you are Erin, and Jose Alcides Leiva Ibarra, you are Carlos. Ready? Let's begin. It's great to see you again, Carlos. Have you been in Orlando long? You too, Erin. I've been here for about a week. I can't wait to show you the city. Have you been to the steam parks yet? Yeah, I've already been to three the lines were so long. Okay, well, oh, about shopping, I know a green store. Well, I've already been to so many stores. I can't buy any more clothes. I know, perdón, I, I know what. I know what. Yeah, perdí. I bet you have it visit the Kennedy Space Center. It's an hour away. Actually, I've already been to the space center and and met an astronaut. Wow, you've be done a lot. Well, it's there an anything you want to do? You know, I really just want to take it take it easy today. My feet are killing me. Thank you so much, the two of you. Okay, close, just close. Close, this one, close. But the rest is fantastic. Very good, great job. Thank you so much. Unit 10. We're going to have the rest of the conversation. Listen to the rest of the conversation. What do they plan to do tomorrow? Okay, let's listen and find out. Page 64, exercise 2. Part B. Listen to the rest of the conversation. What do they plan to do tomorrow? Thanks, Aaron. We can plan something for tomorrow. Great. Have you been to a Cuban restaurant yet? No, I haven't. But I've heard Cuban food is delicious. Let's have lunch at a Cuban restaurant tomorrow. Good idea. I know a great little place on Orange Blossom Trail. Cool. Maybe in the evening we can go listen to some jazz. Do you know a good club? Sure. I've been to several. We can go to Casey's on Central. I've been there a couple of times. It's really good. Okay. Sounds like a plan. Page 64. Exercise 2. Part B. Listen to the rest of the conversation. What do they plan to do tomorrow? Thanks, Aaron. We can plan something for tomorrow. Great. Have you been to a Cuban restaurant yet? No, I haven't. But I've heard Cuban food is delicious. Let's have lunch at a Cuban restaurant tomorrow. 
Good idea. I know a great little place on Orange Blossom Trail. Cool. Maybe in the evening we can go listen to some jazz. Do you know a good club? Sure. I've been to several. We can go to Casey's on Central. I've been there a couple of times. It's really good. Okay. Sounds like a plan. Thank you so much. Janie, what do they plan to do tomorrow, Janie? I think they are heading to Cuban, Cuban. Uh -huh. Cuban food. Food, food, very good. Mm -hmm. That is correct. And in the night, they are going to listen to the jazz. Maybe? Yeah, very good. Yeah, they're going to dance, right? To like um, it. Very good. I don't, um, don't remember more. <laughs> that, that's okay, but you got the idea, right? You got the idea. Very good. Thank you so much. Great job. We're going to have the grammar part. Page six. Really quick of this one, which is the present perfect. Okay. This thing is not a piece of cake. Again, uh, there are some things that I suggest sometimes in English. One is the verb to be. Be careful with verb to be because that thing is not a piece of cake. Yes. It looks like easy, but verb to be is not easy. Or another thing that I I, I suggest to, to double check or to study a little bit more is the simple past. And another one is the present perfect. The present perfect is not easy, okay? Because, because, as you may see here, we have the instruction have, has. Yes, we have these verbs that goes with um, past participle. ¿Se acuerda de la lista de los verbos? Tenemos tres listas, right? ¿Sí? This is go. ¿Cuál es el pasado de go? Went. Exactly, right. So went, yes. And el past participle, que es este que trabajamos con present perfect, is gone. Oh. Exactly. Entonces, ¿con cuál va a trabajar usted? With this one. Con la tercera línea, right? De la lista de verbs. Yes. You need to be careful porque usted va a ocupar esto que está aquí, have, Y esto que está aquí, has. ¿Ok? ¿Cuándo? Cuando es third person. ¿Ok? Si usted se fija, mire. He hasn't. Yes. Aquí tenemos en la cuestión. Has Carlos visited. The theme parts. Y los que no son third person. Vamos a utilizar have. Have you been? Have they been? Have we been? Yes. In the negative also, tiene que tener cuidado porque pues va de la misma form. Yes, I haven't been, they haven't been. Yes, so, ¿para qué nos sirve esto? Bueno, use the present perfect actions that happened sometime in the past. Yes, it's like I'm telling experience, right, from my day. Yeah, yes. Something that happened to me in the past, yes, and I use the present perfect to talk about it. Yes, for example, si yo le pregunto, Claudia, have you ever played tennis? Have you ever played tennis? No, I haven't. No, I haven't, right? So if you see, the question is about an experience in the past. You know what I mean? And we are not using the past simple. We are using the present perfect to talk about it. Yes. And that's why it's somehow difficult because we need to understand, oh, cuando es una experiencia, right? De vida. Yes. Cuando es una experiencia, oh, yo digo, present perfect. Cuando solo voy a hablar de algo in the past, voy con el past simple. Yes. You know what is the difference there? Yes. Right. Aquí dice something happened in the past. Yeah. That happened in the past, right? Tenemos el uso de yet. Si usted se fija, por ejemplo, en la conversation teníamos yet. Uh, al final, normalmente, right? Y lo vamos a utilizar con questions en negative. Have you checked your email yet? In, in the minutes, pues todavía, right? Yes. Have you checked your email yet? No, I haven't turned on my computer yet. Mire. Vamos a utilizarlo en la mayoría de casos al the end. Yes. Y already con afirmativos, right? Yes. Already. 
¿A dónde lo va a colocar? Entre aquí, mire, en este espacio. Yes. Yes, right. So that's why I'm telling you, this thing, you need to double check this one. Because this one is not, a, it's not easy. Yes, it's not easy. And, and we need to practice a lot. If you hear, we have the contractions with pronunciation, I've, I have. You, you have. His, he has. Okay, so if you see here, these pronunciations, son las pronunciations del verb to be, ¿recuerdan? Verb to be, yes. So, so be careful, right? Be careful. Entonces, ¿cómo va a notar usted que está hablando del past? Perfect, bueno, pues porque va un verbo con esta pronunciation, right? So you can say, okay, has eaten. Okay, she's eating, and so on, and so on. It's with... Dave hasn't and happened. Let's listen a little bit so you can double check the pronunciation. Page 65. Exercise 3. Grammar focus. Present perfect. Already. Yet. The present perfect is formed with the verb have plus the past participle. Have you been to a jazz club? Yes, I've been to several. No, I haven't been to one. Has Carlos visited the theme parks? Yes, he's visited three or four. No, he hasn't visited any parks. Have they eaten dinner yet? Yes, they've already eaten. No. They haven't eaten yet. Contractions. I've equals I have. You've equals you have. He's equals he has. She's equals she has. It's equals it has. We've equals we have. They've equals they have. Hasn't equals has not. Haven't equals have not. Page 60. Let's do this exercise. We're going to use has or have and also the verb in parentheses. Ana Cristina Peña de Paz. Let's begin with number one. Number one. Has Leslie called you lately? Uh, no, she. Oh, yes, no, yes, you go with me. She... Nochi Nochi has Okay, that's positive or me. negative? Positive or uh, negative? Nochi not, not, not has called me Yes, that is positive or negative? N negative Okay, very good, entonces voy con hasn't, very good hasn't Call, you tell me, right? Call. Yes, very call. good. Call. He hasn't called me, but I... Oh, Jesus, I'm sorry. I... I... Uh, I have. Okay, I have. And what is the past then? What is the past participle of get? Um... Getting. Getting or gotten? Gotten. Exactly. Exactly. Very good. Thank you so much. I have gotten. Yes, I have gotten her email. Okay. From, I have I have gotten some emails from her. Very good. Claudia, continue, Claudia. Number two. Thank you so much, Anna. Great job. Okay.
Um, have you? Okay. Thank you so much. Have you? What is next? Have mm. you? Have you and Jen? Have you and Jen? <laughs> oh. oh, that's very good. Thank you so much for help her. Yes, very good. Had, okay, had. So, have lunch. Yet. No, we. No, we haven't. Very good. Haven't. Thank you. Oh, I'm sorry. No, we haven't. Continue. We're thinking of going to Tony's. Have you? Oh, just have. Uh, have you, uh, let me see, try. Regular or okay. irregular? Try, try it, try. Okay, try. thank you. <laughs> try, like this one? Yes or no? Try it yet? Come with us. Okay, very good. Oh, thanks. I, I haven't... Yes, I'm gonna put it here. I haven't. What is the what is the past participle of it? Eaten. Exactly. Very good. I haven't. Oh. I haven't. Oh I my gosh. Eaten. Exactly. Very good. I haven't eaten. Continue. There yet. But I have heard. Okay, very good. Like this one? Yes. Heard. I, I have heard. Okay, I have heard. It's pretty good. Yes, very good. Correct me if I'm wrong. Yes. Okay. Uh, so this is the way we do it. And again, um, it's not easy. Okay, it's not easy. Um, and that's why I... Freddy? Hello, uh, teacher. Yes. Uh, I just uh, commentary mm -hmm. uh, about the pronunciation, the word, the verb, uh, eaten, eaten. Uh -huh. uh, es que generalmente decimos eaten <laughs> o eating, uh -huh. pero ahí escuché yo en la, en la conversation que, que no es tan fácil la, la palabra uh, eaten, sino que eaten, eaten, casi exactly. más, es, es más, garganta. Exacto. Que, así que labial, ¿verdad? Ya se ha comentado, teacher. Yeah, eaten. Eaten. Yeah. Uh -huh. Lo que pasa es que a veces lo entonamos bastante, al final no se fija lo que dice usted, right? We, we, we uh -huh. tend to entonate. Yeah, but okay. it's eaten. Eaten. Entonces, yeah. se viene como mm, at the end. Yeah. Uh -huh. okay. Very good. Thank you. So, again, um, this thing is about practice. Okay, so my suggestion that, like, as a teacher, because of the time, as you may know, uh, go on YouTube when you have the chance to do it and find videos explaining a little bit more this topic because it's not, it's not easy, believe me. Like, I'm telling you because of my experience because I, um, I did a lot of research on this one when I was studying and it's, it's difficult, pretty much because of the verbs because we have a lot of them in different contexts. A little bit here, here at the end, we have the use of yet and already. ¿Dónde va yet? Cuando es afirmative eh, o negative or question. ¿Cuándo utilizamos yet? Any idea, Marcos? Daniela? Al final de cada oración. Exactly. Thank you so much, Jorge. Exactly. Yet lo vamos a ocupar cuando es negative and questions at the end of the sentence. Y already, lo vamos a utilizar with affirmative sentence, lo vamos a poner en medio de, uh, let me see, aquí. Oh, what is that one? Aquí, en medio de este, I've and talked, yes. 
Okay, we're going to stop it here because of the time. And I hope that um, we can have the chance to practice tomorrow. Thank you so much for being here. Good night. Take care and see you tomorrow. Bye-bye. Great job, everybody. Good night. Good night, all of you.